Hi, um, first of all, please don't mind the mess in the back. I am currently in the process of basically cleaning up my whole life. The first clip was me at 18 years old and I was so nervous to film any kind of video and post it online. But the one thing I'm really proud about of myself is that although I was always afraid of so many things, I was also quite brave and always pursued and questioned my fears until they stopped holding me back. So I want to ask you this one very important question, which is what is preventing you from tapping into your most confident self? Because this confident, assertive self exists within you and it exists within all of us. But the question is, how do we actually tap into that energy? I feel like a lot of videos don't really break it down for you. So what I wanted to do was show you my process of how I actually build up confidence in my own life. Now, I definitely did not start off as a very confident individual when I was growing up. I'm sure a lot of us dealt with a lot of our own own insecurities. I can't really imagine, you know, just coming out of the womb and being confident. I feel like confidence is just something you build up over time throughout your life. But I do think that there is a way to build it. So in order for me to pursue my higher, more confident self, the best version of Annie, I had to face a lot of my own fears and self-doubt and anxieties growing up. I think it's really important to ask yourself, what are your emotional, mental, and physical blocks that are preventing you from becoming more confident. And we all have them, there are insecurities. So when I was younger, I hated the way that I sounded on camera, I hated the way that I talked. I just felt so awkward putting myself in this position which I'm in right now. And it wasn't just on camera, like in real life, there was a period in my life where I felt so awkward and just not confident talking to people. And it made it really difficult to connect with other people. I was really worried about what other people would think of me when I spoke. And this was a fear that was really holding me back from tapping into my potential. And the path of becoming more confident is gonna look different for everyone because everyone has different insecurities and things that, you know, we have to deal with. But even to this day right now, I still have things that are kind of holding me back and things that I'm working through but at least now I have a process to work through in order to just continue gaining more confidence and pursuing the things that I want to pursue and also just becoming the best version of myself. It's really important though to come to a point where your fear, your anxieties, your self-doubt aren't controlling you and don't dominate your decision making. So after you've taken some time away from people and just reflected within yourself what is it that is holding me back, I think it's also important to know that you have time. I'm the type of person that really needed a lot of time to grow up. I'm always in my own little world and pursuing my own interests. And this leads me to my next point, which is if I were to tell my younger self a piece of advice about, you know, building confidence, I would tell my younger self that it's okay to take time. Take the time that you need to build up a really strong foundation of self-confidence that will be with you for the rest of your life. It's okay to not be the most confident person in the room. It's okay to lack self-esteem. You're growing and you're learning, so take your time. Good character development, so don't worry about it. As long as you are someone that knows you're gonna put in the effort to becoming better, then I think, you know, take your time. I've always been a late bloomer, which has its pros and cons, but I've definitely always felt very late to the game in terms of relationships and just growing up in general. I still have like a... I'm still very much a kid at heart but I'm just now a more confident kid at heart. Growing up, it was definitely hard for my interests to align with people, especially in high school when everyone kind of got into partying and drinking and it was something that I just never really vibed with. So it was hard for me to participate and make strong bonds and friendships in high school. But the point that I really want to touch on in this segment is to enjoy the journey. I know in the moment it just feels like everyone else has it together and everyone else knows what they're doing. But again, it's just a reminder, we're all on a different path to building our own self-confidence, so we really can't compare with other people. And I think people really do get worried about, you know, oh, I'm, I'm this age right now and like I should be here at this point in my life. Like, no, you have time. Don't worry about the time. Just keep on working towards becoming better, becoming more confident and building yourself up because I think
think that foundation is so important. Now, I know we all want to be that, you know, confident boss woman lady right now, but I think it's really important to just take the the pressure off your shoulders. Your confidence isn't going to develop completely overnight. It's a long-term commitment to yourself. It's something that you work on every single day for many years or maybe even your whole life. And since embarking on this journey of building up more self-confidence is a long one, there was a point that I would like to make that I think would make a lot of people's lives easier if you can implement it. And that is to stop caring about what other people think about you. I think everyone deals with this to some degree and in order to really start working through this you need to start letting go of doing things a certain way because you care about what your family or your friends or even strangers think about you it's not to say that the opinions of your loved ones are not important of course they are it's still incredibly important to be able to receive constructive criticism and listen to the thoughts of others who have perspectives on what you're doing that might be able to help you in growing and becoming better so yes it's important to listen but it's important to know when to listen because when you enter this journey of becoming more self-confident and you start doing things that maybe you wouldn't normally do you might get some strange looks you might get some comments behind your back people will start thinking things about you and that is what you're afraid of and that's what is stopping you from doing the things that you want to do. Or maybe you'll realize that people don't really actually care. And I think that thought is extremely freeing. At the end of the day, people are concerned about their own lives and what's going on in their world. If the people around you have that much time to look at your life and judge it and be critical, like destructive criticism, then they're not spending enough time looking in the mirror and asking themselves what can they improve on. So do the necessary work. Free yourself. Allow yourself to let go of the destructive, insignificant comments of people that don't actually care about you. And especially, don't let the imaginary comments of Sally or Sue or Bob or Jim, I don't know what your friends' names are, but don't let the imaginary comments of what you think people are saying about you or thinking about you affect how you run your life. It's your life, it's your responsibility to lead your life the way that you want to lead it and become your most confident self. The next point that I want to touch on is taking action. Confident people lead their own life. They take initiative. They look at their life and they say, these are the areas that I want to improve on and these are the steps that are going to take me from A to B. Whether you want to build a stronger support system or you want to chase your dream, confidence is taking initiative, taking action, and trusting yourself that you're going to get there. And if you don't feel confident in trusting yourself, then it's time to start pushing yourself to taking more initiative in your life. You can start small. For example, if you've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, you don't need to post a public video. Just make a video for yourself, post it privately. Just start doing something. Or if you want to become more confident in social situations, then start putting yourself in places where you can actually become more social. Start joining things, start joining clubs, going to more events and putting an effort into conversing with people, asking them about their lives and being curious. Start trying and start learning about whatever it is that you want to become better at and more confident at. You simply won't be more confident if you don't put in the necessary effort that is required to become more confident in different areas of your life. And the more that you try things, the less scary they're gonna become. Nothing worth having comes easy. Accept the reality that it's gonna be an uphill climb from here and get used to walking on an incline. Or rather, another way of saying it is get used to being out of your comfort zone. Now, I know we all love being in our comfort zone where, you know, we feel safe and we don't have to worry about that much, but your comfort zone might be preventing you from becoming your most confident self. I stayed in my comfort zone for 22 years in the city that I grew up in. It was my home, it was where my family was, where my friends were, and it's it was basically the only city that I knew. And then when I moved out of my home in Canada to Taiwan and lived in Taiwan for a year abroad, I learned so much. It was actually incredible how much I learned in that one year of just 
getting out of my comfort zone and living in a place completely different from what I was used to, to realize that I can grow this much, this fast, by just putting myself outside my comfort zone. And I also gained so much more confidence and I realized how resilient I am and how independent I am by putting myself through this kind of experience. Now I'm at a point where I'm confident enough to say that you could plot me down in basically almost any city in this world and I know I'd figure it out. I would find my way and I know it would be hard, but I know I could do it. I trust myself to take care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, and spiritually. And that is the confidence that I built up by moving away, getting out of my comfort zone, living abroad. When you start stepping out of your comfort zone, it's gonna be uncomfortable. You're not gonna know what's going on. You're not gonna know what to do. But if you can gather up some resilience, some determination and consistency to being committed to learning new things, being in new places, having new experiences, meeting new people, you will become more attuned to gaining real trust in yourself, which in turn is gonna build up your confidence. So get used to walking on an incline. When you're on your way to becoming more self-confident in this journey of life, you don't always have to walk alone. And what I mean is that in life, we meet so many different kinds of people. There are people that are gonna be cheering you on. There's gonna be people that are gonna walk alongside you. There's gonna be people ahead of you, behind you. My advice to you is treat as many people as you can with kindness. Kindness and compassion. There is a very fine line between confidence and arrogance. And what separates these two is empathy. Can you put yourself in someone else's shoes? Can you understand what another person is feeling? Can you empathize? When you're on this journey of becoming more self-confident and you're going through your own struggles, you'll know how hard it is to overcome yourself, to overcome your fears, to overcome your anxieties and self-doubt and the negative talk inside your own head. It's a constant internal battle and you're not the only one that's having it. Everyone is dealing with themselves. So when you approach this topic, know that arrogance asserts your ego to make you feel more superior. But the point is not who is climbing faster, who's more ahead, or who's behind. The point is, is that you are the type of person that has the confidence to help others. Are you listening and trying to understand people? A true confident person knows what they're worth. They know their own value and they don't need to prove it to other people. Confidence comes from love and creates bridges. And there's actually a really good article about this, which I will link in the description box below. And now I want to talk about self-love because we have talked about, you know, how we should be treating other people. Now it's definitely also important to consider the people that you surround yourself with and the environment that you're in, whether or not it's helping encourage you to build up more real self-confidence. But in this video, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about the internal side of self-confidence and the self-love that I think is so vital to build up true, real self-confidence in yourself. Now, confidence is not about knowing everything and being good at everything. It's about knowing your own strengths and weaknesses. And a strength of mine that has helped me get to the point of where I am now is that throughout time, I have been able to learn how to love myself, love my quirkiness, love my weirdness, love the eccentric parts about my personality. And yes, there was countless, numerous amounts of times where my self-love was challenged. Because not everyone is gonna love everything about you, even if you want them to. So that's the part where you need to learn how to have unconditional self-love. Just because someone doesn't love every quality about you or see your efforts that you're putting in doesn't mean that your qualities are not valuable and that your efforts are meaningless. Your unique qualities are what make you like no other person on this planet. It's what makes you special. It's what makes you, you. So be proud of that. Share that with others. Be confident. Be confident in who you are uniquely in this world. On this journey of becoming more self-confident, you're gonna make so many mistakes. I've made so many mistakes. And there are times where you're gonna feel totally out of place, like you just don't belong. And those are the times where it's so important to develop self-love for yourself. You need to have enough self-love for yourself that it's something you can always fall back on no matter what. And you need to know how to forgive yourself and move 
on. And if you don't know where to start, I would suggest with taking some time to really getting to know yourself. What do you truly like? How do you like to spend your time? Who do you like to spend your time with? Spend more time nurturing your soul and stop feeding your ego. Now that's gonna look different for everyone, but it's your job to figure it out. How do you nurture your own soul? With all these points, I feel like I could go so much more into depth, but I'm gonna end this video on one last point, and that is visualization. This is the point where I feel like I'm currently at on my journey of building more self-confidence. Now, you might be wondering why didn't I mention this point earlier on? Because visualization is something that you can do at any time, you know? If you just close your eyes and have a clear picture of who and where you want to be. And it's not that I didn't have visualizations of being more confident when I was younger. I did, but at those times I didn't have a clear perception of what true confidence was. And I didn't really know what it actually looked like. But I feel like I'm at this point where I know myself well enough, I've built up enough self-confidence to realistically get me where I want to be. Everything that I've mentioned in this video is not necessarily something that is step by step and you need to follow, it's more so of a cycle that I've noticed in my own life. Identify a fear, give yourself time to figure out why, stop caring about what other people think, take initiative, and make the effort. Get out of your comfort zone, reevaluate and reflect. Was it confidence or was there a hint of arrogance? But remember to still practice self-love no matter what. Figure out what you want next, start visualizing it, feeling it, and then do it all over again. And build up more self-confidence with every single cycle. And never stop. Just keep on going, keep growing, and keep discovering yourself. Alright guys, so today I'm interviewing, quickly interviewing my, my friends. House. Oh yeah, welcome to Marie's house. It's, yeah. it's very, very beautifully decorated. There's like so many cool very things. Yeah. Very, yeah, we've got French words right there. And in Marie's house today, we're going to be interviewing her and also Bruna about confidence and how to be confident. Alright, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to pass it over to the one and only Marie. Wait, how do I say your name properly? Marie. My name is Marie. Actually, it's Marie Eve, but <laughs> in English speaking countries, I only use Marie because it's easier to pronounce. When do you feel the most confident? I guess when I'm in a good mood. I always feel more confident because happiness has to do with confidence. No matter what I'm wearing or doing, I'll always feel confident. What are some things that make you feel happy? The sun, the beach, my friends, dancing, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That was the last one. <laughs> what would be your advice to younger girls who want to build more confidence? I guess you need to figure out like the way you like to look. Because some girls, they like to wear a lot of makeup. Some girls, they don't like. And also find clothes that you think is flattering and everything. And also, just think confidence is not about the way you look. It's about the way you think, you know? Like, if you think you look good and feel good, just do what you want to do and feel confident about it. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset, you know? Yeah. That's what I always say. Confidence is a mindset. Mm -hmm. Because I see some girls, they're like so pretty, but they're not confident. And it's so sad, like, just go get it, girl. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would say that, like, I feel like you have, like, really figured out your style and, like, what looks good on you. And you, like, have spent a lot of time knowing that to a point where it's like, you don't really need to think that much. You just know what to do. You know how to do your hair. You know what you like to wear to a point where it's like, you're confident no matter what you're wearing. Yeah. You, you wear the clothes. The clothes don't wear you. All right, this is my friend Bruna, and we're in Marie's house. <laughs> I know, it's so nice, right? What is the thing that has built up your confidence the most in your life? It's very important about like your family and also friends. So, I mean, if like you have a family that always criticize you and always, you know, see things that, like very not positive way, I think this is not really good for your confidence and also like your friend group. If uh, you have a friend that is very like jealous, I think, you know, like and doesn't know how to give compliments and stuff, this also doesn't really help your confidence. So I think your um, 
environment it's really really important for you for me uh to be honest like my mom she always like pushed me a lot you know she always like be confident you know you don't have to be afraid to talk with people like you know just talk like you know if you make mistakes it's fine but you have to practice you know because confidence of course you don't born with right you build up so uh it's very important like your group of friends and your family all right so i'm here with my boyfriend and i'm gonna ask him a question all right the question for you today is what is a piece of advice you would give to someone that work, wants to work on their own like confidence and a piece of advice that is applicable to anyone i think the one advice i would have is for confidence is almost like fake it till you make it kind of thing and you know his confidence is absolutely key to any situation if you're not confident in yourself then naturally no one's going to be confident in you um so i think a, a trick i like to use is like actual like visualization before um i get myself into a certain scenario so it can be used in any situation maybe the night before or a few hours before the event start visualizing yourself basically absolutely killing whatever you're doing although this this, this way is really help like it's a really good trick i think it's also important to eventually be competent in whatever you're doing so then it's more like making it so you don't have to fake it anymore